Hello, hello friends. Uh, my name is Matt Heaton and I, today I would like to talk to you a bit about palm muting in Irish guitar playing. So palm muting is what it sounds like. You're muting the string slightly with the palm of your hand. Uh, the reason that you might do that is there's there's a few there's a few it's a nice nice tonal thing but it allows you to make a really driving uh, exciting rhythm without getting too loud okay because it guitar if you're if you're playing and letting all the strings ring all the time it can get kind of overpowering and you kind of lose the uh, you can actually lose the rhythmic integrity of it, frankly, to say nothing of, of, of burying the melody playing and, you know, melody player and, and annoying the flute player. So, um, if you, like, for example, if I, here is, here is a little something, here is without palm muting. Here's with. Right? So that definitely, like, compresses the sound a bit and, and defines it as well, I think. So let's talk about how, uh, how this actually works. So what you're doing is you're taking the, it's not really the palm, to be honest, it's the heel of your hand. It's the, the this fleshy part is going to be the bit that is um, doing, doing the muting part. Um, the first thing that I would encourage you to do is just place your hand down onto the bridge of the guitar, like right on the saddle, okay? Right across the saddle. And then try to pick a note. Okay? If you, if you hear this, you are not close enough to, uh, to the strings. If you hear this, you're probably too far up. So, experiment so you get kind of a sweet spot and if you if your hand is sort of anchored here um, you know that's um, like keeping it anchored is is a really good way to get the the basics you know or or play you know play metal or something I don't know uh, but you, if you notice, what I'm doing is I'm actually, you know, I'm, I'm doing a fuller strum. So what's happening there is when my hand comes down, the pick and the palm, pick and the heel of the hand, are hitting at the same time. So... When you come up, that is not muted. Right? Because the upstroke, if your hand is leaving the thing, you can't actually mute it at that point. So, you know, usually what I end up doing is I might do some kind of light strums down here where it's kind of in between being it's not actually it's not anchored but nor is it coming all the way off you see that so i'm kind of brushing the strings with the 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 heel of my hand the whole time um the so a good way to practice it, maybe start out by going with the, see if you can do upstrokes and downstrokes with your hand, with the, 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 the heel of your hand muting, touching the strings. And then see if you can make a bigger motion and then come back down to a smaller motion. just to try and, and feel where the sweet spot is. It's one of these things that you've got to mess around with. Like it, it, it's, there's no, like, it's, it's a very difficult technique to say, oh, you exactly put this here and that there, and then that's how you do it. It's, you really got to kind of like experiment with, you know, your own hand, your own guitar, um, all of the above. 
There's one sort of more extreme thing you can do with this, where if you getting the a little percussive slap, uh, if you do you know, a mute, but do it actually closer, like farther up to the to the sound hole. Let's see. So that I'm do it's the same motion as the palm mute, but I'm doing it much higher up and I'm doing it maybe a little harder so that the strings are actually slapping against the fretboard a bit. Which can be kind of a cool. So that's the basics. That's that's sort of uh, about all I can say about it. Um, the keeping, just experimenting with where it's all about the location. Uh, so experimenting with where your hand is hitting those strings. I'm in drop D, by the way, just to make it a little easier to you know do that. Um, the just experiment with with where it sounds best on your guitar and how you are uh, experiment with how you um, how far you can come off and what that does to it tonally but again you know obviously start start simple and then do some do some upstrokes and then start like making it feel a little more like a strum and uh, then before you know it you can incorporate palm muting into your playing and I hope that uh, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope the people playing with you do as well. Thank you very much, and hope to talk to you soon.